Hello, Nether Galaxy. Today is the first day of spring, so I decided to, um, make a video about the miraculous mine involving the fox and bee miraculous. This one, the bee one, you know, like the animal, not like the hashtag that I sometimes use on these videos. We're gonna start off with this one. This is tricks. And, um... This is how, if you remember how it works, we right click on the Kwame with it and Tricks, let's pounce. Now I'm the, um, illusionary star of the nether. I have a flute and the other things. I even have something on my shadow thing, and I, and the mask even comes with videos. Oh. The flute's power is, uh, the flute can be used as a, uh, attack weapon. I'm kind of tempted to get that wandering villager out of the way. I don't know why they keep appearing. But I'll go see if I can't find mobs in the caves. There she is. Uh, Mirage. Okay, now I was aiming for Mirage. It... I'm... Wait, I don't know that. Must be from the Mirage thingy. Yeah, you can use your Mirage any number of times you want, unlike... Like, Shelter... Or Lucky Charm and Cataclysm. Um, but... Like those three... He, once you do use it... You have five minutes before you transform back. The dip, there, are dip, there are many different things that can be spawned using the illusion power. Like a uh, chest, a uh, spider, which, I, which seems to want to attack me. Yeah, the chests that are generated by this thing are mere illusions. It's not like anything in them is, you know, real. Oh, it's a Yuki. Like, tricks, let's do, let's do Trixie's... Sweet berries. Where's she going? Like, Come back here, tricks. Don't it missed. There we go. That's what she eats. That's how the fox thing works. And here's the honeybee miraculous. As I'm calling it. This is pollen. I'll show you uh, once I get in. Pollen and buzz on. If I can. Yeah, buzz on. See? Now I know the, um. Hmm. Well, the original name had. Now I'm the, um. How do we go with the stinging star of the nether? Hmm. I guess you could say that now I'm the queen. Queen bee. Uh, Okay, this is what all the buzz is about!
The B. This is the B spinning top. You can. It's the. It functions like the ladybug yo-yo. Oh, and now you can throw it, and you teleport to that location. Also, if you're wondering how it's repairing itself, that's due to this. The repair talisman I'm wearing. And now for its power. Venom! I got my venomous stinger right here. Let's see if I can't find someone to demonstrate it on. And not, a, and not a creeper. That would dispose its effect, apparently. Ooh, an adult creeper. Bigger blast radius. Ow. It's gotta be a zombie or a... I will find there will be more zombies or skeletons here that I can demonstrate the stinger on. And I better find one fast because I I only have three and a quarter minutes. Backing up. There we go. I can't I know I There's one if I can get to it. Uh, sting! See? I managed to sting the golden armored one. I mean, which, which applies a super her big slowness and weakness effect to it, and... Oh, come on. Now, as you may or may not have noticed earlier, once you you can only use the venom power up once. See? Nothing happens now that I have the Venom Stinger. And once you do use it, you only have five minutes. Or in my case, I have, I have, I have about two and ten, a quarter minutes. Okay, that... Okay, I really think that that... That wandering guy needs to go. Okay, now that his now that his alpacas are taken care of, <laughs> looks like I got stung by a bunch of bees. And now did he transform? Like pollen buzz off. Holland's food is honey bottles, which for some reason don't leave the inventory or leave a. I mean, did you see that thing? It didn't leave the inventory or leave an empty bottle or anything. Ooh, before I forget, uh, there's an aqua power up for this. Pollen power up. Whoops, wrong one. Aqua pollen buzz on. Now I'm the aquatic stinging star of the nether. Eh, 
spring thing done sprung. Oh yeah, that's right. Also, her polymer's off. But there's an aqua mode. Oh, for the fox one, I forgot to show. Tricks power up. Aqua tricks likes pound. And now I need, and now, now I'm the misty star of the nether. I went with that because of how, how mirages are usually he, he associated with mist and fog. Wow. For those, those of you who thought that, that, that my power was, in a, was only an illusion. Oh, hey, I lost the tail on my thing. Oh, well, probably wouldn't help that much with swimming anyways. Tricks, let's rest. There we go. That's all the main. That's all the main hero miraculous there. Also, I mean, here are the villainous ones. And the butterfly and the peacock ones. I'm not gonna show them to you just yet. I'm gonna, I want you guys, I, why are you, I, I want you guys, I to like this video, always what, and subscribe to my channel, hey, no, and hit that notification bell while you're at, while you, when you subscribe, that way you never miss my stardom, and also, if you like what you see, share it, and with other people. Also, guys, I have an announcement about my VTubing thing. You, I can't, can't really use an avatar because of the fact that I wear glasses in real life. I've been, I went online, I was just searching online, and, and I found out that some VTubers have, been, have started to show their feet. And I and then I realized something. Even if I can't show my face, I still have my feet. At least, I mean, you know, not in a weird way. I don't think I'm not gonna be a barefooted thing. I don't think. Think and that. But I'm having trouble, anyway, with the foot problem thing, I'm having trouble deciding what kind of feet I want my avatar to have. Should they be humanoid feet? Animal feet? Should I not have, should I have something more like a tentacle or a tail or something? I, there are just so many intriguing choices. Which one do you think I should have? Do you think I should have something like humanoid feet? He animal feet? He or maybe I should just have a tentacle like thing. Or or maybe just have a a, a tail like thing. Maybe not necessarily a tentacle. Oh, and in case you didn't, oh, and in case you missed the previous video. Oh, this is the Tangible Energy Translator. It allows one to convert redstone flux into a tangible form of energy. Like a currency type thing.
it increments in, in orders of 10, 1,000, and 10,000, 100,000, and 1 million, 10 million, and all the way, it starts off at, at 100, and goes up to 100 million. By the way, guys, speaking of 100, that's what I want my subscriber count to be. I mean, you know, at least a triple digit. And in fact, speaking of digits, my mo my first Miraculous Lady Block video got... Hold on, I'm checking. My first one and got, at the time of recording, my first one got 2,541 views. And it got, and it got 40 likes, which is a, which is 93% because three people somehow did, for some reason, disliked my feeling. Not that I don't, not that I, I don't respect that. It's their opinion. But like I said, if you like this, if you like what you see, then hit that like button. And so, and, 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 and while you subscribe to the channel, while you, if you do, it's completely free. Just hit the subscribe button and make sure to hit the notification bell while you're at it. That way you never have to miss a moment of my stardom. I may have always, I know I said that already, but still. Anyway, that's so. That's all for now. Uh, shoot for the stars, everyone!